we return, ladies and gentlemen, with more Pokemon Crystal. Here we go. What? How would you like to have this? Tasty, nutritious, slowpoke pie. I can't even pronounce that other than the way it's supposed to be pronounced, so slowpoke tail. For you right now, just a million credits. Uh, you'll want this. No, I, I won't want this. Because he said, yeah, all right, fine. Um, I'm going to talk to Hick over here. This is a great fishing spot. You saw people fishing? How about you? Would you like one of my rods? Yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's good to hear. Uh, wait. That didn't cost me any money? Can I upgrade to new rod? Really? Okay. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> I just want to make this as confusing as possible for everyone else. Because I haven't said a thing. Pretty sure it, 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 it already is pretty confusing. For the first minute, I, I haven't said a thing. Did you keep track? Yeah, okay. the timer's right there. <laughs> you gotta heal your egg. Clearly. <laughs> Opaquely. Opaquely. You again. Alright, bitch. I'm out of here. Um. Oh, oh, fuck. So I can't upgrade the new Raj eventually. Yeah. Not yeah. bad. It's from Violet City. You beat Faulkner. Now on to Hemingway. <sighs> Dude, I, I don't know who Faulkner is. Um, anyway. Oh, this is like a roaming bird keeper. Uh, yeah, you I mean flying keeper. Because <laughs> he uses the bird type. I like uh, a gate creeper vine, if you know what, oh, I, if you know what I'm saying. I do. You might okay. not want to keep the spell spread out. Um, right, that so, would be a bad idea. Um, so you, you start off getting the old rod, eventually you upgrade to the good rod, and then you get the super rod. Super rod? Yeah. Super. I think with the old rod, you can pretty much only catch magic carps. Really? Yeah. Great. Which isn't bad because Gyarados is awesome, but you don't need a Gyarados. That's true. Oh. Huh. Why did I use Scratch? I that? was just want about to ask you that. I thought you had some sort of evil plan and you were doing it again even though it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> That's the part I was hoping. It doesn't matter. Alright. Um, and we each get nothing. Great. Hey, Pidgey, who would have thought? So wait, is Water Gun good against it? Because I might switch out for, I don't know, Geodude? Yeah, do it. I did. <clears throat> but, um, Water Gun is not good against flying, if that's what you were about to ask me. That is what I was about to ask you. Do I do? No, I don't even defense probably. Yeah. I'm just going to brute force mash its head in. But, wow, I'm keeping this guy in, I know that much. Yeah, he's... Rocks have pretty good defenses. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. As a, as a general rule. Steel has even better defenses, though. Yeah, but that's just because they, uh, they they acquired those good defenses through less than savory meats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they, uh, yeah. they stole them, if you know what I'm saying. Unfortunately, they're not, they're not got that great of an offensive type. But... Oh, Spiro. Shit. Keep him in. Yeah, he's here. Yeah, that's... Oh, wait, oh my god, I... <laughs> One of these days I'm gonna figure out how the buttons work. One of these days I'm gonna figure out how to use my fingers. Until then, I'm gonna continue to flail aimlessly. Two damage this time, dude. Uh, well, Spiros do have more attacks. And that means they do more damage. <laughs> yeah. No, they have more attacks than Pidgeys. Plus, that Pidgey was using Tackle, and I think Peck is a little bit stronger. So. Okay. So I should upgrade to Peck for my Geodude. Yeah. Yeah, every Pokemon can learn Tackle, and every Pokemon can learn Peck. See, I knew I liked this game. 99 experience points. Experiments points. <laughs> Man, it's like a bunch of red balloons. Rock throw. Oh, what does that do? It's up to your first rock type move. Okay, but what is it? like? I don't think it has any... It's just a water gun of rocks? Yeah. Okay. And I, I know... When double battles are introduced, it hits both Pokemon. Oh, cool. But there's not any in this game. He knows what his weaknesses are. I would hope so. Well, I didn't I didn't turn on my bell sprout, so apparently I know what my weaknesses are. Oh, can I, I guess I have to. Yeah. Is this Zubat's in here, dude? 
Um, probably. Oh shit, site of a great battle between the Union and the Confederacy. This cave's really short, so... Sand Shrew. Oh shit, should I get this guy? Oh, he's so cute. I do like Sand Slash. Wow, my stomach just went nuts. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna fight it. Just throw a Pokeball at it. What? Just throw a Pokeball Still at Pokeball? it. Throw a Pokeball? Yeah. Chocobo? I really hope this works. That's, that's what I would do. Ready. One, two, three. Oh. He busted out. It's the last time I do that. All right. I, I was almost right. Well, I, we'll never know, will we? Um, it's like if you take a multiple choice quiz and you guess A and the answer is actually B. You're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> as close as you can get. So I'm using rap. Is that the right call here? Um, yeah, I don't think that'll kill it. I'd be really surprised if they killed it. Yeah, no, we're, we're good, we're good. Alright, and they'll just keep taking rap damage? Mm -hmm. Alright, just like if it was listening to, say, a uh, Lil Wayne song. Yeah. Well, it's like the epic rap battle of history. And this is what they're talking about. <laughs> now, if I swapped out a bell sprout, would it still be rapping it? No. And if I continue to rap it, will it do more damage? It will. Good. Oh! <laughs> the fucking eclipse of the moon <laughs> over there. So, hmm, when what? when it would become more advantageous for me to use Pokeball? Um, one more rap will get him down into the yellow, and then you should be good from there. Okay. Hey. So the yellow is like the, the breaking point for these Pokemons. Or red, but... Okay. I mean, red is better, but given its low level... Shit. Yeah, but that's what we thought last time, and uh, you, you almost you, had you it. basically wasted three hundred dollars of my money. Actually, two hundred. You basically, but it, you know, interest and all <laughs> oh, that. Right. You know, it broke out again. Ooh, gotcha, Sand Shrew. All right. Sweet. Where's Brown and Sandy Places? Because it uses the sand to protect itself when threatened. Also, it's adorable. Did you see its animation when it I came did. out? Oh, it was so cute. <laughs> I can't even bear it. <laughs> sand true. Uh, no. And I'm a genius. Alright, so we're gonna swap it out. That's the first one to lead. Um, That's not bad. Because, I mean, you're probably gonna end up replacing your <laughs> Sand true with a Geodude at some point. So. What do you mean? Like, in the long run, I think your sand is going to be better than that the Geodude. Geodude. Okay. Nice. I, I, mean, I could be entirely wrong, but... Am I doing this right, by the way? Grinding up... Oh, should I switch out again before I fight this asshole? Why? I, I don't don't you want to get levels on your sand shoe? That's true, but he might, like... Oh, shit. Oh, he shit. might what? I don't know. He might, like, one-shot it or something. Well, you can switch before he's able to attack it. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's not how this works, buddy. <laughs> I know oh. how this works. I forgot how Pokemon works. I never actually learned how to play the goddamn game. What moves does Sand Shrew have? Uh, let's find out. Scratch and Defensive Curl. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Switch it out to this bad boy. Yeah. So anyway, uh, is the way I'm doing this correct? I'm pretty much leveling everything equally, kind of. I'm trying to level uh, Totodile and Pidgey sort of the same, and uh, Velocity. I mean, that's Velocity. <laughs> Whatever it's called. Um, I mean, that's pretty much what I do, so... Okay. <laughs> I mean, as long as it doesn't mean you have a bunch of, like, level 6 Pokemon or something, no. it's fine. Yeah, I think we've already surpassed that point. <laughs> uh, scratch. So you used Rage. Go. Oh. Give that move some love. So, and I, to, to be sure, to be, my god, I'm turning into Otaku Superior. To be clear, I shouldn't be capturing these red battles, right? I should just be... They're not really going to be too useful. them on the heads, okay. Let's get this guy. Whoa! What a surprise, dude! I didn't expect to see anyone here. This is dude, the guy who taught me how to play uh, Capture the Pokemon. How to play Capture the Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, look at this man. He's so happy. He, he looks like Onyx or a Geodude. Or Sean Rhys Davies from that one Indiana Jones movie. Oh, Hiker oh. Danny sent out on. Oh, my favorite song of all time. I love the uh, vocals. Yeah. Oh God. Like the 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 visual tableau of an Onyx fighting a Sand Shrew. Tableau. So should I use um, yes. Water Gun? Either water gun or vine whip is gonna mutilate that thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna mutilate it. 
best magic card. Oh no, I knew I was mutilated. I actually, anyone who actually oh, no. watches my videos knows that I love mutilate with uh, a burning love. Let's talk about standard right now. The reason why I'm not making this videos... This is all you, by the way. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, I'm going to talk about standard. The reason why I'm not making videos uh, about magic is that I'm... Like many other people, I'm not impressed with the Theros standard right now. I think it's very one-dimensional, uh, strictly speaking two-dimensional, since there's only two decks you can build if you really want to win, mono blue and mono black. Um, right now, the only standard deck that I have is this weird ripoff of Lukas Yaklovsky's deck that he took to the Pro Tour, and I was in love with that thing. It was so fun and interesting to play. You know, Rakdos' Return is a great card, and I love my Desecration Demon. But And I, and I modified that deck. But... It's never actually going to be competitive. It's just red black control is not competitive. Um, is that what you tried running against me? Huh? Did you ever use that deck against me? Yeah, I did. I, I was just making sure. Yeah. I, um, so yes, I have, <laughs> I have run that deck against you. Um, and I mean, it's it's fun for me to play, but it's never going to be competitive. And so, I, I was brewing a lot on on cockatrice. What am I doing here? I'm gonna, it going doesn't to, matter. Going to bell sprout again. Um, I was brewing a lot on Cockatrice for the, the current standard meta, and I just realized that I hated all the cards. It's <laughs> probably a good sign to stop playing for a while. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've been keeping track of spoilers for uh, Born of the Gods, um, and so my two favorites are ones that just came out yesterday, actually, or today. Um, oh, a new set just came out? No, no, no. They're spoiling cards. Oh, oh okay. Um, and so... Chromanticore. It's um, it's a four four with like every single keyword under this like visual, vigilance trample first strike flying. That sounds life link. It's really good, but it costs Waberg, white black blue red green. Ooh. Which is so it's and it's so funny. It's it's just a, a funny cool card, and I, I love it for for being so silly. And then the other one I like is um, oh I forget its name, uh, legacy uh something legacy. Anyway, it's it's a it's a card that's only going to be good in Legacy. It's not going to be. You no, know, right. That's the the article is t uh, called Born Legacy, and it's only gonna the card's only going to be good in Legacy. Basically, it only lets everyone draw only one card per turn, so it shuts down control huh. pretty hard. Um, so yeah, and then it just looked interesting. But neither of these cards were good in Standard, and um, I haven't really been keeping track of playing Pokemon right now. But I'm gonna send this guy and water gun him. If you were screwing up majorly, I'd tell you. Okay. Yeah, you you would let me know. But anyway, um, the only two cards I'm excited for are never gonna be standard playable, and I long for the days of Innistrad and Scars of Mirrodin. Is oh, you <laughs> screwed, I'm screwed up. up. <laughs> <laughs> Meant to go down one more. Oh, look at that damage. <laughs> oh god, I'm crying. Yeah. Crying tears? I'm crying tears. Oh, your rage is building. That's good though. Um, and that, that's a sign that you need to use water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the disparity between these two moves is going to be huge. Look at that. <laughs> well, it is that you dude is four times weak to water gun. So, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, that's my piece about standard. I, I would be making videos if I could, but there's no way in how you could convince me to play in the current standard. So I'm not even going to change both. Yeah. I'm just going to stay in, in not in Kansas. So um, there you have it. I you know I'm excited to see what they bring after Theros, and I'm definitely going to keep following the uh, standard meta game. But as for right now, I'm I'm not very excited to make videos and play a lot of Magic. So I'm going to play Pokemon instead. Yeah. And maybe we'll we'll do some other cool stuff on this channel. Um, all of this is moot since no one's ever going to watch this. Who's going to care about anything I'm talking about? But. <laughs> I remain hopeful that in, in the future, once aliens conquer the Earth, this will be the- oh fuck! This will be the only channel remaining on all of YouTube, and this is what they will use to reconstruct what humanity was like. And they'll convince themselves that it was a bunch of people who could not play Pokemon for shit. Because look at me navigating menus like a champ. That was quite the monologue. Or, yeah, you can... <laughs> I remember you shut up for the first minute of the video unintentionally. I mean, intentionally, but I just unintentionally shut you down there, so... You, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, there you go. Did that answer your question as to why I'm not playing? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, what's up there? That's the exit. Okay. Stop. Oh. Hammer time.